In America, most cooking oil comes from sunflower seeds. Apart from sunflower seeds, the ingredient for cooking oil is canola seeds. Canola oil is a type of vegetable oil that comes from the seeds of the canola plant. Canola oil is believed to have more health benefits due to the high content of unsaturated fats in it. Then, how is the canola farming process carried out? In this video, Technologia will invite you to see the process of canola farming to become cooking oil. Canola plants can grow in many countries. Canola is now considered the second largest oil crop in the world after oil palm. In America, precisely in the Missouri area, canola plants are more often planted as rotation crops. Usually canola will be rotated with other crops such as wheat and soybeans. What's more, the method from planting to harvesting canola is almost similar to wheat. So that, crop rotation is very suitable to be done, to anticipate pest attacks that only attack one plant species. Canola plants can live in summer and winter, with rainfall of 450 to 700 millimeters. However, winter is the best time to plant canola, so the yields are maximized. The initial step of planting canola begins with plowing the land using a plow tractor with a depth of 5 cm. Plowing is done to eradicate weeds and fertilize the soil. Furthermore, farmers will provide basic fertilizer using a fertilizer machine and spread it throughout the land area. The basic fertilizer used by farmers is MAP or DAP fertilizer, which is sprinkled with the seeds. Canola seeds are planted in narrow rows in the range of 15 to 20 centimeters. So, canola plants can produce more during the harvest season. Farmers will pull a series of seeding machines, which are up to 20 meters wide. This machine is equipped with a seed storage tank, which is dropped during the sowing process. Based on weight, the recommendation for canola seed sowing is 1.5 kilograms of seed per hectare. Although canola plants can adapt to various soil types and temperatures, proper care must also be applied. To produce maximum yields, water drainage and soil moisture must be maintained. In addition, to avoid disease, the canola plants will be given nitrogen and phosphorus fertilizers. Common diseases that attack canola plants in Missouri are stem rot and white mildew. While, black light is another fungal disease that can occur occasionally with some potential to reduce canola yields. From germination to seed production, the canola plant life cycle takes about three and a half months depending on temperature, humidity, sunlight, and soil fertility. Canola harvest time is done after canola has shown maturity with dry pods and the tree is easily exposed to the wind. Usually, old canola seeds will be dark brown to black at the time of harvest. 
The process of harvesting canola seeds is almost identical to harvesting wheat and is assisted by a combine harvester machine. This machine has a closed reservoir with a smaller hole. This combine harvester machine will cut the base of the canola plant and lift it up, which then the threshing machine will separate the canola seeds from the canola stalks. This canola stock will be dumped behind the combine harvester machine. Meanwhile, the harvested canola seeds are stored in a container, which is in the middle of the machine. Once the bed is full, the dump truck approaches and the combine harvester moves the load. The harvest is then brought to the factory warehouse and immediately processed for canola oil extraction. The average yield per canola crop throughout Missouri was 1.6 tons per hectare in dry fields and 4 tons per hectare in areas with high rainfall. When the canola seeds arrive at the processing plant, they still contain foreign materials, such as plant debris and other contaminants. So, the first step is to clean the seeds using a vacuum filter. Small canola seeds will fall to the bottom, while foreign objects remain on the conveyor. After the canola seeds are clean, they will then be crushed into small pieces. Then, the canola seed flakes will enter the pressing machine, where the canola seeds will be squeezed under high pressure, so that the canola oil flows out. Then, the canola oil that comes out, will be accommodated in a reservoir. Furthermore, the extracted oil, will be stored in a large tank, which will, then enter the refining phase. The purification process, will be carried out using sodium hydroxide, and may take up to 20 minutes. After the canola oil looks clearer, it is ready, to be packaged and distributed throughout the world.